the girl fell off the platform. A train was arriving not far away, but the next moment, the ground under the railroad tracks suddenly cracked. The gates of hell opened. The hands of demons grabbed the girl. Then the train came speeding down the tracks. It was too late for the boyfriend to save her. The girl was slowly dragged into hell. Oh, my God. What is this girl's crime? Back a few days ago, a girl, Ellie, was working at a bank credit agency. One day, she met a strange old lady. She couldn't keep up with her mortgage payments. The old lady's house was going to be repossessed. Ellie sympathized with her, but she couldn't change the leader's decision. The old lady thought it was all Ellie's fault. She cursed and left. After work, Ellie was about to drive home. She found the old lady sitting in the back seat. She attacked Ellie like a ghost, pulling her hair, strangling her neck, biting her chin. Finally, she dragged Ellie out of the car. And here's the weird thing. She stopped attacking Ellie. She took off a button and put some kind of curse on it. They left a message. It's your turn to beg me. The old lady left. And Ellie's nightmare was just beginning. A good girl had been cursed in the most vicious way. Ellie was targeted by an old witch. Her life has been a mess ever since. A client came to her with a banking inquiry. And Ellie had a vision. His hand turned into the witch's hand. Ellie's scream scared the customer away. It wasn't long before she started to get a nosebleed. Ellie covered it with a tissue, but the blood spurted out of her mouth. The manager was splattered with her blood. All she could do was cover her mouth and nose and leave. She went home, but there was a terrifying knock on the door. Ellie hid in her room, but the footsteps were getting closer. She turned on her cell phone to call for help, but her cell phone's battery suddenly went to zero. Ellie was terrified. The shadows outside the door turned into hands trying to grab her. Ellie rushed to the window, but the demon was waiting. It pulled Ellie into the air. It was like a sudden loss of gravity in the room. Ellie was slammed into the closet. When she came to her senses, the room was a mess. In order to ask the demon to leave her alone, Ellie had to sacrifice her cat. But that was the beginning of her tragedy. A demonic summoning ritual was taking place. The psychic intended to have the demon possess herself, and then transferred it to the goat, and then had his assistant kill the goat, to lift the girl's curse. But the demon was too powerful, though Ellie tricked it into going to the goat. But it dodged the machete, and then it bit the assistant, and possessed the assistant. It was about to take the girl's soul. Luckily, the psychic came to her senses just in time. She chanted a spell, and cast the demon out of the assistant, just when everyone thought it had worked. The psychic died. Ellie's curse wasn't lifted. She had to deliver the cursed clasp before sunrise, or the demon would come back for her. Ellie didn't want to hurt the innocent. She had to dig up the dead witch's grave, and put the clasp in her mouth. After that day, the curse seemed to have truly left Ellie. She was ready to take a vacation, but when she said goodbye to her boyfriend at the station, he pulled out the cursed button. Ellie was terrified, and the next moment, she was dragged down to hell by the devil.